The Sangria Jose, we have arrived. Hang on, hang on. Just before you go and check in, um, this prize ain't quite as straightforward as it seems. Well, he did win, didn't he? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all puckering above board and all that. I mean, we're um, we, you know, we got all the tickets and everything, yeah. <laughs> so what's the problem? That's strange, you know. Mm -hmm. What? Well, I noticed it on the plane, but it didn't sort of register. They're all mums and dads. They've all brought their kids with them. What's strange about that? Well, except for me, right? All the winners are parents. No, it's not the parents that are the winners, Rodney. It's the kids. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, Rodney's painting won first prize in an under 15 year old. <laughs> Say again. So they think Rodney's 15? Is that right? No. They think you're 14. 14? They think I'm 14. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this back in England? Well, I thought it might cast a little cloud over the holiday. <laughs> Look, Rodney, I sent your painting off in good faith. I mean, I didn't know there were lots of categories, but it was you, not me. You were the one that wrote on it, Rodney Trotter, age 14 and a half. So the organisers must have put you in the kids' category. So it was your fault that you wrote on it. But, uh, it was I to know that in 12 years' time you were going to enter it for a cornflakes competition? Well, how was I supposed to know that you'd win? Eh? Hey? Anyway, doesn't matter. Now, come on, come on. You're going to waltz through it. Waltz through? How the hell am I going to pass for both <laughs> Will you stop doing that, Cassandra? <laughs> Act your age. <laughs> this is your fault. I'm going to break your bloody neck. <laughs> oh, just look, just look over there. Look, look. Some of those lads, look, they're over six foot tall. 15 and 16 year olds, they look much older these days than they used to, and you've got the added advantage of your boyish good looks. That's why there was free tickets, isn't it? One each for mummy and daddy and one for the school. <laughs> you can't expect 13 and 14 year olds to go abroad on their own, can you, eh? <laughs> and what exactly is your role in all this? Well, um, when the cornflakes people phoned up, they said that you had to be accompanied by your parents. So I said, and I. I don't know why I did it. I must have been flustered at the time. I said that I was your dad. My dad? Did you hear that, Cassandra? Yeah. <laughs> and who the hell am I supposed to be, his mum? Oh, please tell me this is a bad dream. <laughs> You don't pretend, Cassandra. You're only pretending, aren't you? I mean, you haven't got to check behind his ears or pick him up from school or nothing like that, have you? I think we should go and tell them the truth. Just a minute, Dopey. Just a minute. We're here now, aren't we? If we all keep stum, we can have a lovely free holiday. But if they find out we're lying, they'll chuck us out of the hotel. And if they find out we're telling the truth, they'll chuck us out of the hotel. Now, return flight's not for another week, so what are we going to do? They'll probably stick us in one of those Spanish halfway homes. Hell, at some point, they are going to realise I am not 14. <laughs> but we'll be back in the hotel by then, won't they? There'd been nobody there to ask questions. Come on, we're on holiday, eh? Well, whatever else it turns out to be, it's an experience. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, that's right. You know it makes sense, don't you? <laughs> that's it. Now, come on. Come on, then. Come on.